Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? And if you will, would you please hit the bell icon and it will notify you of new videos that are coming out right away. Well, it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all of you who are out there. And I actually did not ask for flowers. I asked for a pen. And guess what I got? I got flowers and a pen. How sweet is that? And so um, one of the things that I've been really wanting um, and had my eye on was a Pilot Elite 95S. And I didn't just want the black one, which is quite lovely. I wanted this deep red which is like a burgundy actually, and a medium because I've been using a whole bunch of shimmers and the mediums are just looking so lovely. So um, my husband quickly just kind of checked to make sure they sent the right pen and then gave me this for Mother's Day. House. Just so wonderful. Nothing says love more than a, a fountain pen at our house. And so, um, this is what it looks like. It actually comes in a fairly nice box and it has a user guide and then it has a pilot little card in here, all in Japanese. So no clue what that says. I'm sure it says some lovely things. And then it has uh, just a, a cartridge in there with, I believe, black, upside down, black ink. And it has the pen and I've just been I don't know um looking at this and I really have my fountain pen club to blame I think we're all a bunch of enablers and um one of the ladies had this uh in her hot little hands and uh gosh it just it's a dream to write with so I've I've written with it and just have loved it and I especially love the gold with the burgundy. I think it's a really very nice classy look. So there it says medium and um, so let's take a look at this and I do want to remove that so I'm going to set that in here put that back in the packaging. Very nice uh, little velvet bed in there as well and I think that's it for that. So let's get that out of the way and take a look at this pen and what it has to give us here and just get stuff out of the way so it has the um i think it says pilot i don't know i can't tell maybe you can tell what it says on there um and then it has the elite um, i'm sure it says pilot on there i'm just going blind ah it does it's on the way down all right and then it has the elite nothing else um, around the bottom of the cap. Now, this cap is exceptionally long, so you can see where the pen is. It's kind of a short little, kind of odd looking stubby pen. And so, and don't mind the ink on my fingers because, you know, that's just kind of goes with the territory here. So, uh, let's see. Look at this beautiful, beautiful nib. So, a very very pretty nib and um, it just has all this lovely marking and of course the marking that I'm interested in is the 14 karat gold mark so it has that on there and the nib size as well and then um, you can only see a little bit of the feed I believe it is a plastic feed and then again this body is a lot longer um, than normal uh, but that should not throw you off so it does not have a converter and so you're really stuck using the pilot um, cartridge that it comes with which is not really a problem so since this did not come with one uh, converter uh, what I'm going to do is I have my pilot metropolitan right here and it is not inked it's one of my favorite pens. If you are looking for a wonderful pen that just is a delight to write with, um, grab yourself a Pilot Metropolitan. I highly recommend these. So I 
think this is a con 40 or con 50 i don't remember but let's see if this fits and sure does so we are gonna use this uh converter so that i can ink this up and um you know what, since I have it taken apart, let me go ahead and do that and then I'll do a comparison right away. So since it is a maroon pen, I am going to ink it with Diamine Oxblood. It's one of my favorites. And I am just gonna do this right here. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. I am gonna go ahead and put this in here. And it's because I actually want to get the feed and everything wet in here. Oh, and by the way, this is right out of the box and I have not cleaned it or anything like that. So let's see how this does. I hope that's the right converter. I believe it is. So that's my oxblood and it is a wonderful ink if you're interested in it um i think it goes pretty well with that don't you think there's my scientific look at that and what we're gonna do is i'm going to cap it and we are gonna look at um how it compares with other pens i'm gonna get my handy dandy ruler out and let's take a look here. So this is a very short little pen and um, it is right at 4.6 looks like, maybe even 4.75, no, yeah, maybe, a little like 4.75 inches. And compared to the Pilot Metropolitan, it's much, much longer, like at five and a half inches let's see is it yes it is so there's that and then I love my noodlers Ahab and that is about the same size as the Metropolitan and then I love love my pilot Falcon I love it so much um, if you're interested in a review of that uh, I will post the link down below so there's that one and then, of course, my Twisby, which is not inked right now. That's very rare, but I just cleaned it out. And so that one is just a little bit longer, about 5.75 inches. So you can see with the lineup that the um, Elite is very short. But when we open this up, we find that it's even shorter. Ha -ha. So uh, it will... It, you can uh, write with it uh, posted. I was going to say cap, but you can't write with it capped. And let's open this one up. So you can kind of compare apples to apples. And they all want to roll that way. Let's see. The falcon. I'm going to put the falcon next to it here. Okay. And the toys be longer still so that is very short when you're looking at all of these pens but for my little tiny hands it's going to be just fine uh, when I write with it uh, not not posted but you can actually post this and then it becomes a very very well balanced pen it's so lovely and um, you can just see how it looks in the hand so um, a really pretty pen, I think, and not bad when you're comparing it with all the rest here, because the Twisby, you cannot, uh, you cannot cap it. So it's actually a very nice, it's a lot longer when you're comparing, uh, because you cannot, you can't, not cap it, you cannot post it. Gosh, what is wrong with me today? All right, so... There's the pen comparison. Let's put that to the side and let's write. So I'm going to, uh, I always try to write on horrible paper first because that's normally what I have laying around in my kitchen. 
and uh, it's because of all my junk journaling. It's pretty much junk paper, and uh, so I just want to make sure that I write on that first because I think it's better that way. And so here's my last uh, review of my friend's Monte Grappa Wonder Woman pen, and um, let's take a look at this one. So this is, let me make sure I'm in frame. There we go. It's a dream to write with, just as every pilot pen I own is. Um, even the Prera, the Metropolitan, I'm in love with pilots and that's all I can say. I just, I don't think I've met one pilot that I don't like. Ugh, what a dream this is to write with. And, you know, I just inked it. So right out of the the box, it's just, ready to go and ready to write so well. And it's not gushing out ink, um, even though Oxblood sometimes takes a little bit, it's a wetter ink, but you can just take a look and see the Monte Grappa medium, which was, uh, I think the ink was just kind of gushing out of that one versus the way that this is writing. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, just on horrible paper, it's beautiful. So uh, there's that. And then let's now try a little bit better paper, which is my Rhodia dot pad. All right. It's amazingly smooth. It is a 14 karat gold nib. There is no bounce to the nib. I mean, as in flex, there's just no flex to that. Um, there's no line variation either that I can tell. Uh, not that I expected it to be, although I do love a good flex. And I am not going to try to flex this at all because it's not a soft nib like the Falcon is. It's, if you are considering getting this pen, I would say don't hesitate. It is extremely well balanced and I don't normally write with the pen posted. Uh, I normally just write um, like this. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do another writing sample and let's see how it, I can deal with it um, without it being posted. It's 
just it writes just as well but I'm going to tell you I actually prefer it posted because I think the balance on this was much better when I was using it with the cap on so I I mean I don't know it's just pilot engineering it's the way that they make their pens it's the way that they price a 18 karat nib um, the only thing I'm kind of afraid of here is that if you continue posting what is this section going to look like um, but I don't know um, I just I think it's just a beautiful beautiful pen I think it's lovely and the way that this writes is so smooth it is actually comparable to my my falcon and so that just says a lot, but maybe I think it's because of the gold nib on both pens. And um, anyway, just the, the way that Pilot makes this. So I hope that this was a useful um, video for you. I think what I'm going to do is make another video and compare these two and see if you can tell the difference in case you're looking at the two pens. There is a price point difference between these. This one is double the price of this one. Um, this one is going to be, I would say, right above a Prera. So um, anyway, so I hope that that's, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in, in another comparison, let me know. I'll be happy to do that as well. So until next time, bye-bye.